siguro for me it is my drive to be a PT na makatulong din po sa mga nagkaroon din ng stroke kasi it is personal for me eh to be like a stroke po kasi yung grandparents ko and you know hindi ko man po sila natulungan during those years pero you know magkakaroon din po ako ng idea and karon po ako ng inspiration from from that This is PT Meal Podcast, where we ingest and digest physical therapy information from physical therapists around the world with a Filipino twist. With your host, Johan De La Paz, a Filipino physical therapist who has worked in different practice settings from the Philippines and here in the U.S. Let's indulge and satisfy our cravings to learn and be inspired. Hey, welcome back to PT Meal Podcast, a buffet of play, therapies, movement, exercises, activities, and, ex- and be sure all packed in a hearty conversation of physical therapy profession and practice with the Filipino flavor. I'm Johan De La Paz, your host. Welcome to the banquet. So again, this is PT Meal uh, Podcast. It's available in your favorite podcast apps, um, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and many more. You can also watch most of the full episodes and live streams on YouTube. If you want to stay updated on fresh episodes, interview snippets, research abstracts, and educational materials, follow the podcast social media accounts in Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Check out our Etsy store as well, uh, PT Meal Shop, one word, at Etsy, for some merch. All links and content are all available in the website, ptmealpodcast.com. Okay, so in today's episode, I have with me uh, Justin Alec Dwayne Dizon. Uh, first-year physical therapy student from Our Lady of Fatima, University Pampanga. So today, we're going to talk about his unique experience and how it introduced him to physical therapy and later on striving to be a physical therapy him, physical therapist himself. So welcome to Pitamil Podcast, Alec. How are you doing? Good evening, sir. <laughs> I'm fine, bro. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. It, it's my pleasure to have you here. And as I've mentioned, you have um, a unique um, experience on how you got to discover what physical therapy is and what brought you to physical therapy uh, school. So uh, my first question is, why physical therapy school? Why did you choose to be in, uh, to enroll in, in, in physical therapy school? Yes. Um, at first, po talaga, physical therapy is not really first ever my choice for in college. Um, my course or degree when I was in my first year in college was actually architecture po. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, I've been passionate when it comes to arts, when it comes to designs. Ever since I was in elementary, it was really, my passion is really into arts. And, mm-hmm. and then suddenly, after after I got into an accident, a motor ac- motorcycle accident to be exact, uh, I got into, you know, I went to, into a rehabilitation center wherein I went into a treatment for my for my bones wherein I got into a you know fracture from my right femur a displaced of blue bone fracture and then yeah I got introduced into a physical therapy school and that's why I shifted from architecture to physical therapy which is actually a Med- medicine course <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. and and you know when I was in college I didn't even mind that I'll be going into a medical school or pre-med course or degree because I am really low when I am really low at memorizing terms and conditions and no I know that medic- medical course is really a hard course or degree for me and yeah uh-huh. <laughs> So at first you were um a, an ar- an architecture student for for one year, yeah. And, and you were involved in a motorcycle accident, uh, that opened the doors for you to discover what physical therapy is. Talk to us about the accident. What happened then? Way back March twenty nineteen, uh, I got into a motorcycle accident, and then, um. Uh, natin ko lang po yung uncle ko for his mm-hmm. work and then I, supposedly I'm going to school na po nun mm-hmm. and then um, nagkaroon po ng parang collision mm-hmm. mag-ano na po ako eh parang lilipat na po ako I'll go cross na po the street 
And then, I di ko po nakita sa peripheral view ko na meron na, meron po palang pasulubong na uh, motorcycle din po na papunta po sa akin. And then, yun, uh, nawalan po ako ng mala. I got passed out. And then, yun, um, I was rushing to a hospital. Then, uh, the diagnosis of the doctors are TBI, right femur fracture. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you had uh, you had TBI and uh, a displaced uh, fracture on your femur. And then yes, you had physical therapy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So what did you That's do with why your physical I, therapist? When I was in the rehabilitation center, po, it was quite uh, good po talaga yung treatment sa akin. Uh, we had the range of motion um, exercises, like, mm -hmm. um, you know, active active assisted knee range of motion um i had to walk to these parallel bars or um also we had some um frontal step ups mm -hmm. and muscle strengthening din po at the same time and balance mm -hmm. balance training and more of the roms or range of motions mm -hmm. so what did you feel nung, nung nag undergo ka na ng physical therapy uh was there a time na you felt na baka hindi ka na makalakad? Or uh, were you still hopeful na eh, makakabalik ka to your regular activities? At first po, uh, I have no really idea what is physical therapy. Mm -hmm. And wala po talaga akong idea at all. And then, nung nagkaroon lang po ako ng accident and this condition po, dun lang po ako na-introduce talaga sa physical therapy. And with the experience po, when it comes to the treatment and with the the process of healing po it was really fulfilling for me po and you know uh, the profession po talaga ng PT is is really fulfilling and it is more of a compassionate profession um it is it is one of considered na alam mo po yun it is hindi siya masyadong napapansin when it comes to medical course when it comes to medical field Kasi hindi siya masyadong kilala. But the PT or the physical therapy experience of mine is really fulfilling po. And with the the PTs or physical therapies na nag-handle sa akin, they are really welcoming. They're really uplifting me to do more, to do better. And you know, nakikita niyo po talaga sa mga, sa mga therapists ko po that time. Ha? They're pushing me to do my best, to be my best, to walk again. And, you know, with with those help na, with those helpful people na PTs, yun po, uh, luckily, and by Lord's, you know, by Lord's hands, I got walking, I got into a walking again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. I, nice. So how long did it take before you got back to your regular activities? It took me an almost year for uh, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Because uh, that was 2019, and then right after, po ako naging parang na, tapos po yung operation ko for my. Because I I do have a stainless steel right now, po. So after po nung operation, then I went home, and also I went to the rehabilitation once more. And at home din po binibigyan po nila ako ng treatment plans for me to you know be functional at home din. Mm -hmm. And it is really really helpful for me po kasi parang nagiging ano po ako eh parang <laughs> nagiging functional po ako once more once again kasi mm -hmm. feeling ko po kasi hindi ako na makakalakad kasi syempre buto yung nabali eh diba uh -huh. and you know parang nabuhayan po ako once more and yun kaya naging nag-shift din po ako into PT kasi I got inspired and I want to you know to to help other people also that got into my situation kasi you know if you have the means to help Bakit hindi mo ibibigay sa iba? So, siguro PT for me is really parang blessing in disguise siya sa akin na ito talaga yung parang sa iyo, sabi ni Lord. Uh -huh. yes. So, you were really inspired by your physical therapist and the whole process. Kaya gusto mong mag, yes. gusto mong mag shift to physical therapy. Okay, that's so inspiring naman. Uh, some people that I've interviewed went to physical therapy Kasi they wanted to be a doctor at one time or they wanted to really be a physical therapist or they had other encounters with physical therapists. Kaya rin naging, uh, kaya, sila, kaya rin na piniling maging physical therapist. So, so far, um, you're on your first year of physical therapy, right? Uh, and, and 
this coming yes. um academic year, second year, kana. Yes, po, at Our Lady of Fatima University. Uh-huh. so so far in your first year of uh, physical therapy school, ano yung mga natutunan mo? Ano yung mga nagustuhan mo? You know, PT is somehow my passion din po at the same time. Kasi I am into sports. I play basketball. I play badminton. I run. I do sprint. So somehow, parang nagiging magaan na lang po sa akin yung process of learning the the techniques and the, the lessons that we were even taking. Because at our first year, because bago na po kasi yung curriculum, eh, before it was a five-year course, right? So mm-hmm. this year, uh, our curriculum now is all it's just four years. So, uh, our first year is more of a muscle origin insertion nerve in action. The moy na <laughs> po talaga yung parang parang pamatay sa amin. So, so I go to gym din po. So I am more of aware na po kung ano po yung mga muscles na na pinag-aaralan natin. So, so dati po kasi sobrang hirap po ng medical course para sa akin. Eh. So, parang ngayon mas parang it was just light. The lessons were light because we have a background. We do have a background when it comes to the range of motions, the muscles, the different kinds of nerves. Yeah. That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You know, there are a lot of classes that are more into fitness. Din po kasi. They were really, really passionate when it comes to fitness. They were, they will run. They will go to gym. So yun, parang nagiging light na lang po. And you have to choose din po na right people po kasi along with the journey of your college so, para maging magaan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ano yung mga bagay sa buhay mo na nagpapadali ng, ng PT school? So, uh, for me, siguro the drive po para sa akin is, you know, I had my grandparents po kasi na incident na they had, had stroke po. Mm-hmm. I, ako po kasi personally laki po ako sa grandparents ko and from, from my apo and to my papa mm-hmm. so way back years after I guess 2012 my lola po had a stroke and mm-hmm. then my lola naman po way back in 2018 I guess so they had stroke po so uh, unconsciously parang nagkaroon na po ako ng background sa PT pala. So, kasi at first po talaga, I don't really know what is physical therapy. So, uh-huh. after po nilang mas close, uh, may mga, kung punta po kong naka-scrub suits. <laughs> uh, parang nurse or, I don't know if they are nurse or they are PT, but meron po pumupunta to do some exercises for them. So, mm-hmm. siguro, that there are PTs po kasi sobrang bata ako pa po. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, siguro yun, I got into uh, you know, Introduced to PT as well. Yung maliit pa po pala ako. So, hindi ko po alam. Pero, yun po. If, you know, if naging, nag-PT lang po ako at nung naging first year pa lang po ako siguro, you know, siguro na tulungan ko po yung grandparents ko. I do help my grandparents from their conditions po. Which is true. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like, uh, siguro, for me, it is my drive to be a PT na makatulong din po sa mga nagkaroon din ng stroke. Kasi, it is personal for me eh. Like, like a stroke po kasi yung grandparents ko. And, you know, hindi ko man po sila natulungan during those years. Pero, you know, magkakaroon din po ako ng idea and karoon po ako ng inspiration from from that. So, so far, yung mga expectation mo ba on a medical course and, and physical therapy, uh, did, did the, the physical therapy school meet your expectation of, of what a... PT program is or parang you were or na surprise ka ba when you uh, are actually in PT school na of course I got surprised po talaga kasi yun nga po mahina po talaga ako sa memorizations and yun po talaga yung weakness ko so kaya siguro I am more of an extracurricular base or uh, arts po talaga ako eh so kasi yung PT school po or physical therapy degree it's more on books po talaga. So, you must read. You must read and read and read modules, books, suliban. <laughs> suliban yun. The least, Par- uh, parang yun po, talaga yung bi- yun po talaga yung Bible ng PT eh. Mm-hmm. Suliban, uh, other authors din po. So, I culture shock po talaga ako. I was mm-hmm. culture shock. And 
yun, namit naman po, kasi alam ko ganun naman po talaga when it comes to medicine course. Uh, yun po talaga, pero more of an arts po talaga ako. But right now, I am in an organization wherein I am the public information officer po of PT So, at the same time, nagagamit ko po yung passion po arts for from posting information from our pages, video, video audio, graphs. You know, pero yung PT school po talaga, <laughs> sobrang, sobrang namit naman ko expectations ko. Pero yun nga po, yung expectations ko <laughs> to the lessons, parang, parang konti na lang. <laughs> Kasi sobrang hirap. Uh-oh. Pero nakakayanan naman po talaga. Yeah, po, you have to you have to choose the great circle of friends po talaga. Mm-hmm. Support system. Right, right. Well, in, in, in any other in any uh medical or healthcare um program naman, talagang ang primary ano mo doon would be memorization kasi yun yung basic yes. basic pero the more that you go to uh, into your program uh ma 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 may mention naman siya madalas so mas magstick mas mas maaalala mo mas may yung hindi ka na mahihirapan na tawag dito na mm-hmm. i-memorize siya ng memory kasi lagi mo na siyang ginagamit lagi mo na siyang naririnig so yon so so basically lang talaga mahirap without the memorization so aside from the memorization part and uh, you know medical terms and stuff ano pa yung mga ibang challenges na um uh, na encounter mo in physical therapy school Mm. Uh, for me, siguro yung mga encounters ko po is siyempre, feeling scores din <laughs> of course <laughs> feeling scores, normal naman siguro sa college yun. and also um, neuro <laughs> neuro yun, memorizations po talaga eh. and yun din po yun po talaga and, ano pa ba siguro yun na lang po neuro yeah. and <laughs> uh, matindi talaga ang neuro pero it's really oh, fascinating pag napag-usapan nyo na yung, yung uh, <laughs> pag napag-usapan nyo na yung mga um, conditions uh, in neuro yung very exciting part uh, at the same time yung um, treatment part uh, on, on on neuro conditions um, so you're going into your second year of physical therapy uh, school in your program so ano naman yung ano what do you look forward to in becoming a physical therapist? Uh, for me, right now po kasi tinitake na din namin yung mga treatment plans and, you know, the foundations po, foundations of being a physical therapy. So, yung bandaging, first aid, yung, yung mga range of motions na po, yung mga exercises, mm-hmm. when there are some certain conditions po. So, yun po, parang right now, that is what I'm holding. Na making physical therapy or to conduct and to apply what are we learning today? Because physical therapy is about din po naman kasi into a physical aspect of life. So you have to help other people by giving them the proper treatments and proper exercises for them to be to become functional once more. So parang yun po yung parang that that is what I'm holding. Na making physical therapy also to help and to conduct a you know to conduct the proper proper treatment for the patient. Mm. May naisip ko na bang specialty uh, when you become a physical therapist? Ako po siguro the sports and more on the ortho aspect kasi ortho po yung pinanggalingan <laughs> pinangyari sa iyo. <laughs> oh. uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah, it, it's it's good to have a goal when you're uh, a student kasi that would lead you to what you wanna try to specialize on or focus on but I have met some people na they were focusing on they they, they wanted to focus on sports or ortho um, pagka-graduate nila pero they were led to pedia they were led to geria so it, it's good to have an idea of what you wanna be in, in the future pero sometimes life <laughs> life has something uh, more or a different path for you um so are you are you happy that you're in, in in physical therapy school? Na hindi mo na tinuloy yung architecture. Right now I'm really happy na po kasi ang daming blessings po. Mm. Blessing in disguise nga po like what I said about it. It was mm. really a blessing for me kasi ang dami ko pong natututunan every day in every aspect of life and 
Siguro gusto ko po talaga kasi tumutulong sa tao. Eh. Mm-hmm. If you have the means po talaga to help. Ako po kasi, you know, I I grew up in a household wherein I become too independent at early age po. So, mm-hmm. you know, gusto ko pong makatulong mm-hmm. for, for geriatric stage kasi laki po ako sa sa lolo't lolo ko, sa grandparents ko. So, it was, it, it was really fulfilling if you give back. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, so far, ngayon, uh, at, at your stage in, in your physical therapy journey, uh, who do you uh, look up to in, in, in the world of physical therapy? Uh, or, or who do you want to emulate or be like? Siguro kayo po. <laughs> Kasi, uh, before, I sh- before I shifted in, <laughs> Kasi gusto ko din po maging podcaster. Eh. So, uh-huh. Before I shifted into a physical therapy degree, I was researching and looking for contents na related to physical therapy. Because I have really no idea what is physical therapy. So as I scroll, as I research, I saw some contents. No, uh-huh. so it was wow, wow. This is this is this is good. Because physical therapy at the same time, he's doing about podcast. <laughs> so personally, I I do want to have a podcast someday. Then. Mm-hmm. And pero when it comes to physical therapy siguro this the mother of physical therapy siguro si ano si Mary 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 po Magnolia <laughs> uh-huh. kasi yun <laughs> wala mo maiisip na <laughs> wala maiisip na ano yung question ko ano talaga yun curious question talaga hindi ko hindi ko sinet up na ako yung sasagot mo hindi ko alam yun ha <laughs> okay, siguro din po yung mga uh, props ko po si uh, Sir Ramos ah By the way, he went to the World Physio Convention po sa, ano, sa Dubai right. mm-hmm. last June. Mm-hmm. And they were one of the representatives of the PPTA, uh-huh. the Philippine Physical Therapy Association. And uh, one of our research from our school was presented then po. So it was really a proud moment for us. Po, nice, sa, nice. Sa campus. Sa, um, the next one will be on to- in Tokyo. Baka kung mayroon kang research mm-hmm. that time, di ba makasali yes, kayo po. doon. That's a it, it, that's a good uh goal to have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for those who are not familiar, who Mary McMillan is, she yung mother of physical therapy. Mother of physical therapy. Um, considered mother of physical therapy even here in the U.S. And um, tal dito, my interaction, mayroon siyang connection with the Philippines, because she went to the Philippines during the World War Two, uh, to help with you know the war and. She was stuck in USD um, with uh, other um, injured uh, soldiers there. That was dun siya nag nagtrain ng ibang mga um, healthcare professional kung paano tumulong dun sa mga na injured, how to rehabilitate, and then once okay na nakabalik na siya sa US. So, so parang dun na parang nagsimula. May 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 intersection yung histories ng PT ng ng Philippines and and, and the US. Um. So in in what you're doing right now as a incoming second year uh, physical therapy student, what advice can you give to those who are thinking of going to physical therapy school? Now probably similar to you, na they are researching and they're wondering, tama ba yung physical therapy for me? If pwede ba ako dito sa physical therapy school? So what what advice can you give them? My advice for incoming PT students school is that you have to know the foundation of anatomy po talaga, <laughs> physiology. Yeah. And if you really want to help, kasi yung, yung nuisance po ng pagiging doctor is to really help, di ba? So, for me, physical therapy is the best pre-med if you want to take the doctorate or if you want to become a doctor someday. And also, physical therapy is not just in a physical aspect po kasi it is more on also anatomy and The life, the life itself. This is the circle of life, <laughs> and yun, yung advice ko lang po is to continue, to continue. If you want to really help, if you are compassionate to other people, if you want to really help the patient to become um functional once more, you don't have to be in an accident like me to become a PT. But you know, if you really want to help other people, this is the this though sometimes or though PT is really underrated here in the Philippines. So it's time for us to give the PT the credits that if you want to really help to be 
your patient to become once more functional at their best, mm-hmm. functional mobility at their best. The PT course is really for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if, you, if you're into sports, this is really suitable for you because you have already the backgrounds and if you want to treat your your own self then you know if you want to help yourself also but true 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 i agree like uh it, i agree with what you said if you really if you're in really into helping other people uh make them better help them improve get help them strong to be stronger uh help them run fast bike fast or just simply walk better uh physical therapy is the right uh program for you right vocation for you um yung syempre, with uh, any other healthcare profession nandun talaga yung mga struggles in studying it like uh memorization and knowing all of those medical terms at the same time yung mga conditions and what's i, I think what's unique with physical therapy is you get to really dissect what movement is uh kung mahilig ka mag-analyze ng mga tao how they walk how they stand how they move Tamang, tamang I actually, therapy for you. <laughs> I actually judge by my physical therapies that my gait, my gait training or my gait walking is not not normal when I was in <laughs> rehabilitation. Because <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, I I do have crutches. Uh uh-uh. And once you uh, become a physical therapist, to just tapag aralan mo yung mga types of gait with post op sa neuro or or whatever, mm-hmm. you will unknowingly try to judge other people <laughs> other people when they're walking like when we're na, nasa nasa coffee shop lang kami tapos we're hanging out tapos makikita kami naglalakad tapos ano tingin mo yung gate niya <laughs> kita mo parang bumabagsak yung ano niya yung hip niya uh, Trendelenburg uh, <laughs> uh, <my husband. laughs> so that, yung nga ganong stuff parang once it's embedded in you hindi mo na ma Mag, mamatatanggal, it would become mm-hmm. second nature to you already. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, physical therapy is fun, and uh, as you, and also as you mentioned, it's a good um uh pre med course if you're if you're really pursuing uh, uh a, a medical uh degree later on, because in physical therapy we're taught mm-hmm. to think of what the diagnosis is. Well, we we don't diagnose, but we think of what are the possible um diagnosis that could affect the patient. So we have our own physical therapy diagnosis, our own impression of what's going on. So, yun. Um, that's nice. Okay, so, y- y- ang ganda yung story mo kasi, like, hindi mo naman talaga iniisip maging physical therapist to begin with. <laughs> Pero, it mm-hmm. brought you to that profession kasi you had that experience with physical therapist firsthand with your injury. And I think, I think that's, mm-hmm. sometimes, yun yung mga nakakatulong sa atin to be better physical therapist, yung maranasan natin yung maging pasyente at maranasan natin masaktan. <laughs> masaktan. Yan nga po yung, yung story ko eh. Uh-uh. From, from patient. From PT to, to patient. Ay, from PT or patient to uh-huh. physical therapy. Uh, from, yeah. from from small PT to yeah. all caps PT. <laughs> all caps PT. Uh-huh. Kasi so, for, PTRP. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so for for those who uh, are not familiar with that, yung, yung, yung abbreviation ng patient is patient. small P and small T. Tapos, yeah. abbreviation ng physical therapist is capital P and capital T. Yeah. So, for patient, <laughs> patient PT to PT physical therapist. So, yun, yun nga. Yes. It's nice. Kasi, sometimes, pag hindi tayo nakaranas ng mga injuries or hindi tayo nakaranas ng ano, sometimes, mahirap makarelate sa sa mga pasyente. Mm-hmm. Pa eh. I, I had that experience na I had so... I had this eh, parang moment of low back pain at one instance. Tapos, I, I, siyempre, PT ako, so I was trying to treat myself. So, I've, I kept mm-hmm. doing, so, akala ko, siyatika. So, so yeah, I have siyatika. So, ang ginawa ko, siyatika stretches. So, a lot of flexion, mm-hmm. flexion, bending and bending, bending. Pero, so, hindi siya, hindi siya, ano, hindi siya gumagana. So, bak, ganun, PT ako, parang hindi ko mamagaling sarili ko. Then, I tried a different approach. Sabi ko, o oh, sige, try natin ng um, extension naman. So, so sinubukan ko yung extension, sumakit siya ng... At, at the start, masakit siya. Pero as I go on further, yun yung nakatulong sa akin. Sabi ko, ganito pala yung feeling ng maging pasyente na kung sasabihin natin agad na, oh, gawin mo to, gawin mo to, tapos sabihin nila, ay, hindi gumagana. Tapos, pinagpatuloy natin. Kasi yun ang nasa isip natin na, yun dapat ang pagpagaling sa'yo, baka hindi mo naman ginagawa maayos. 
Pero if we, we try something else, tapos sabihin ng pasyente, eh, may sakit yan, ayoko nang gawin yan. Tapos, yun pala, yun pala yung makakatulong sa kanila. Tapos, sinukuan natin yung ganong treatment agad. So, parang, hindi siya talaga gagaling. So, sa, yun ko na-realize na parang, ah, so, so, hindi pala dapat, pag masakit agad, iiwasan na agad. Or, or something. So, doon papasok talaga yung how you're communicating with your patient and how you can relate to your patient right away. So, it really does help if you have an experience of an injury or 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 pain or whatever first hand it's not a requirement but it would help you to relate <clears throat> so yeah so so alec thank you very much for sharing your story with us <laughs> thank you very much sir Joanne. <laughs> and, and my pleasure buddy. yeah and and i i i feel that that would you know um give uh so, some 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 people an idea on what physical therapy is kung gusto nila pumasok sa physical therapy school uh, or you can go to the PT. <laughs> so uh, before I let you go, I have some like my last bites, my last questions as I end my my interview. Okay, ready, kana? Yes, po. Uh, all right. So my 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 first last bite. Um. So, what fuels you? What drives you? Well, what drives me is you know my family and my my principle that you don't just have take that you always give give back and you know by being compassionate to other people also uh, I really really need or I really wanted to help other people too mm-hmm. yeah, siguro that what makes me driven to this profession mm-hmm. got it so family giving not just receiving and being compassionate all right so my my second bite is what's something that you have recently read watch or or listen to that you know you you want to share with our audience. I am personally reading Comic Habits book lately, and mm-hmm. it is a personal, you know, improvement for your own sake. And the author itself, the, the author himself, they got into an accident also. So I can relate to him also that you just have to improve yourself every day, every single, and it is not. Fast. It is hindi siya mabilis. Yung pag improve sa sarili mo, hindi siya mabilis. So, take chances and one step at a time talaga. Mm-hmm. And with regards to movie, it is everything, everywhere, all at once. And, you know, I can't, I can't even relate also to the characters that, from that story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I like the Atomic Habits as well. I have the audiobook. I have the physical book oh, as well. Nice. Ang pinaka-tumatak sa akin doon yung in-illustrate niya yung um, an airplane flying off yeah. from a certain airport. Certainly, change yeah. mo lang ng one degree. Ang ending niya ibang-iba na. Sobrang layo okay. na from its destination. So small habits that you change would make a greater impact mm-hmm. later on. So yun yung parang tumatak sa akin from that. I, I tend to read it, reread it, or really listen, listen to it pag, pag gusto ko ng inspiration. <laughs> so, yan, Atomic Habits. Maganda yan. I have my book here, pero hindi ko na kung nasaan. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, meron din po ako book sa bahay. Kasi uh-huh. ko na All right. So, my my last bite is what are the three ingredients that you carry with you um, each and every day that you feel that it's important to have? It can be a, a value, a trait, a characteristic, a Bible verse, or a statement. Uh, in short, what are the three things that make up uh, Justin Alec, Dwayne? Uh, for me, first is, of course, God above all. <laughs> My favorite verse actually is Isaiah 60.23. That lahat ng nangyayari um, is happened for a reason. And there are certain perfect time for everything. Mm-hmm. And second one is kindness. Yun. Siguro, we have to take kindness every day, everywhere. Kasi, hindi mo alam kung ano yung pinagdadaan sa isang tao. True. Before you judge someone, or you, you have prejudice on an individual or on situation, you have to, you have to, you know, you have to be resilient or reflect on those things first before you judge or before you, before you become angry about someone or something. You have to be kind. Kasi, doon nagmumula talaga yung the root of the love and kindness, this kind of compassion, the good for you. 
yun yung last kasi we have to become compassionate with other people also as well kahit ano pang profession niya if you're in a medicine course it could be in your engineering architecture uh, corporate job you have to be compassionate kasi uh, what makes the world go round is being compassionate and helping other people to be at their best mm-hmm. Alright. God, kindness, and compassion. I do pinaka gusto ko yung kindness kasi it's it's the easiest. I mean, it's it's easier to be kind to others. Na tama ka naman na you don't know what other people are going through, and you can just choose kindness over other things. You know, over violence, over hate, over anger. Ayun. Okay. Thank you again, uh, Alex, for the podcast. And uh, yeah, uh, we wish you good luck on your her year you. a physical therapist um and balik sa podcast balik sa PT meal <laughs> yes you're always course, welcome definitely. here <laughs> okay lang with so. podcasting or starting a podcast uh yeah pwede kitang matulungan doon you can also listen to um Jimmy McCase uh PT Pinecast yun yung inspiration ko kung bakit ako nag tayo ng or naggawa ng podcast uh yun yung siya yung parang ano ko uh, pinapakinggan ko before about physical therapist in podcasting he's a radio DJ by profession and later on became a physical therapist tapos bumalik siya sa media through podcasting so full circle din siya so yan so um, as uh, at ano pabaon natin sa audience kasi diba, after every meal or handaan uh, pa Pasharon ko na ito tayo. Sabi na nila. <laughs> Pabaon. Pabaon. Pabalutin mo. Pabalutin. Mo. Pabalutin. <laughs> Pabalo tayo binapamigay sa ating handaan. So, ano yung gusto natin pabaon or balot sa mga audience natin from our conversation? What do you want our audience to take away from what we've talked about today? Uh, siguro, based on my experience, based on my life experience, um, siguro yung plans natin talaga is not really the God's plan. So, Siguro, ako, personally, I was taking an up architecture. Eh. Yun na talaga yung buhay ko when I was in elementary, magiging architect ako. Pero yun, uh, an accident got me. So, I shifted into a course that it is not really my, not really my first ever choice or hindi sa magi kaya kahit man lang nung, <laughs> nung, ano ko, nung first year ko. And yun talaga, meron talagang lessons sa lahat ng bagay na binibigay si Lord na this is this is for you, kid. This is the right path for you, kid. You have to trust me. You have to, you have to distrust my my plans for you. So, siguro, di na siguro magshift. Ito na siguro, Lord. If this is for me, this is for me. Mm-hmm. All right. Then siguro. Ah, uh, ikaw yon. <clears throat> yon ay uh, that reminded me of uh, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Yun nga. So, may plans ka, pero kung may ibang plans si Lord, diba? bakit pa sa panatangi? <laughs> okay, again, thank you, Alec, for being in the podcast. Thank you very much, sir. Your life and how you got into physical therapy. Alright, so until so to our viewers, until next episode, uh, catch us again in PT Meal Podcast. So, see you again.